Hello, kia ora. I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you very much for joining us for our Friday weather update, recorded on September the 22nd. We've got the outlook for the weekend and the outlook for next week. There's quite a lot going on in the New Zealand area. We've got a lot of rain coming this weekend into the North Island this time. And then next week it tapers off, but we've got colder weather spreading in after what has been a very warm week this week. First of all, though, I want to get into the UV rays because this weekend we've got the spring equinox. And that basically means equal days, equal nights for both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. It's a little bit like ships passing in the night uh, as they head off in the Northern Hemisphere towards uh, winter and we head towards summer. So this blob here that you see, that circular kind of shape of it, that is the intense UV rays, the extreme UV rays at lunchtime today in New Zealand. Now most of that is to the north and this is the equator right here through the middle. This separates it in half and shows you that the equator is right now sort of facing towards the sun. That's why we're getting equal days, equal nights in both hemispheres. But as we go through the next couple of months, this is going to slide further down the pink purple area. And that's the extreme UV rays. And it's worth noting that already, with still three months to go before that actually arrives over the top of us, we've still got the yellow and orange shading, and that means moderate to high levels of UV rays already. The green you see over the South Island, that's thanks to all the cloud from the rain that you've got today. So that's the reason why you've got no worries about getting sunburnt today if you're in Canterbury or the West Coast. So let's talk about the rain that's coming in. There are two main areas of concern. One is over here on the West Coast with some spillover into Canterbury. That could lift up the river levels in Canterbury. About 100 millimeters or more for the West Coast, about half that though for the Canterbury Plains, 40, 50 millimetres or so is the general estimate. And then it tapers off even further for Christchurch and the Banks Peninsula area, maybe only 10 to 15 millimetres for you. The main area of concern though is up here with the bright blue. That is uh, getting up to 250 millimetres over the next four days. And in places like Eastern Bay of Plenty, the Gisborne Ranges area, Northern Hawke's Bay, that can cause slips and flooding. Now there is a positive with this because with El Nino here, uh, these sorts of rainmakers in the east are going to disappear or at least uh, be not very often. So make the most of the rain if there's a way you can save it in any way, that'll be good news, uh, good for the gardens, good for the farms, but hopefully it's not too much of a good thing because that is a lot of rain falling in just a few days. So a lot of wet weather coming through. But the good news is the blue you see there next to the green and yellow, only a couple of showers. So good news for Gore, and Northern Southland, which has just had that deluge. So here is lunchtime today, a special map for today, just showing that rain moving up uh, as it goes through this afternoon into Canterbury and the West Coast with those heavy falls. The southerly portion of it coming through, so it's going to be a bit cold, and certainly that rain should be fairly widespread. Hopefully not too many problems, but there is the risk of some flooding, surface flooding around Canterbury, and obviously those rivers are becoming more swollen from the rain over there in the Southern Alps. Okay, let's fast forward through to lunchtime Saturday and the South Island in a much clearer zone now as high pressure, a little bit of high pressure here. This is the main zone of high pressure though out over towards Victoria, but really the South Island is a lot more settled on Saturday. It'll be cooler and the North Island sees that rain moving in. Why is this rain causing problems? It is very slow moving, trapped between two very big highs, this one over Victoria and this one out to our east pulling down this mild subtropical air. So that's the reason why it's going to be warm, but that rain is stuck in between. So here we are on Saturday, later on in the day at 6.49 mainland time in New Zealand. And here we are in New Zealand on this graphic. Uh, that, is the, that is the spring equinox. It's a precise moment. So we just talked about the UV rays. This is showing it here, the sun rays coming straight in, and that is the equator. So over the next few months, the earth tilts the South Pole more towards the sun, and it moves the North Pole more towards darkness. So the Northern Hemisphere gets you know, shorter days, and we get more sunshine hours as the Earth continues that tilt, and the South Pole starts to point more towards the sun. So that is the reason why the spring equinox is an important moment. And then we fast forward a few more hours into Sunday morning, and then we've got the spring, uh, sorry, then we've got daylight savings starting, so we spring forward an hour at 2 a.m. So uh, 2 a.m. NZ standard time, 
then becomes 3 a.m. NZ daylight savings time. And there we go. So we fast forward one hour to get into daylight saving. And that is really the start of spring on the astronomical calendar and the end of winter. So let's have a look at Sunday as we officially go into spring. I mean, there are multiple starts to spring in New Zealand, but this is one that a lot of people prefer. And you can see that low pressure zone and all that rain lining up. So you've got that northerly rain, and then you've got the blocking high, and that rain's just sort of stuck there. So it's not a storm. It's nothing big and spectacular. It's just an area of warm fueled rain stuck between two highs. And so the rest of the country is not really in that heavy rain, but these northern areas are borderline and certainly Bay of Plenty, Northern Hawke's Bay and Gisborne have the highest risk for any slips and flooding from that rain over Sunday and then again Monday because there's a small low forming there. Now again, most other places aren't too wet. There'll be a few showers around and it's a little cooler, but most of the rain is over here and it slides further down towards wider upper. Again, this is good news for farmers because these are the driest parts of the country at the moment, but it could be a little bit of too much of a good thing in that northeastern corner. Now next week, it does finally move away and we're back to the usual sort of spring weather with the windy weather coming back. Now there's another surge of cold on Tuesday though. So single digit daytime highs for some of you in the south and then that spreads up nationwide. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week are definitely cooler as a result of the southerly flows. And I'm not talking much about Australia because there isn't much happening there, but also we did a seven day video yesterday for you. But we do have a few showers here between sort of ACT and Victoria on Tuesday and a few more showers further inland on Wednesday as well, otherwise mostly dry around Aussie for the next week ahead. But New Zealand's still unsettled, but mostly dry for western areas, showery in the east again with those southerlies coming in, that's another system coming through, and then by Thursday finally we're at the end of it. So that's what I mean, like these areas are very dry in the eastern North Island, so to get this rain, and Canterbury as well, to get this rain coming through right now is good news. Um, but as we just saw with Gore, it could be too much of a good thing. So keep a very close eye on those uh, rain radars and the Met Service warnings as we go through this weekend. But by the end of next week, it's a very different story. And hopefully by the following weekend, as we end September and go into October, we'll be seeing some sunny weather coming back in. That's all from me for this week. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the start of uh, this, well, enjoy the start of whatever season you think it is. <laughs> I mean, it's spring either way, no matter how you look at it, by Sunday, we are in spring on every way that you measure it. That's all from me. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. Oh, sorry, one last thing. We're not here on Monday. Our next video will be back on Tuesday.